Hello everyone and welcome back to A Dancer's Mindset with myself, Isabella. It's so great to have you here today. Welcome. If you're new here, this is a great platform where we build confidence and self-esteem for dancers all over the world and making it possible for you to believe in yourselves more and have less self-doubt and therefore succeed in what you want. Today, I'm going to be actually talking about how you don't have to believe in yourself to succeed initially. I think there's a lot of pressure sometimes, especially if it's not natural for you to think, oh, I've got to believe in myself. If I don't believe in myself, how on earth am I going to succeed here? And I think it's, like I say, it's not completely natural for you to say to yourself, I am going to be um, a principal dancer or I am going to get into that school because you may not believe what you're saying and that can somehow make you feel worse and like, oh, forget it, like I just feel terrible and I obviously am not made for this, I should just give up now. But I say, let's just remove the focus from believing yourself for just a second because that can deter you from taking any kind of action towards your goal because you just feel like your self-esteem and your belief system is a bit in the toilet. So I say, let's just take action. Just decide to take action every day towards your goals. And you don't even have to believe in yourself because others will. Your parents will believe in you. Your teacher will believe in you. And many times that's how it starts. Someone will say, oh, you've got so much potential, you know, you can really do something here, you can really make it. And you don't have to necessarily believe what they're saying. You just have to decide to take action every day. So that may be, okay, I'm gonna go to ballet class every day. I'm going to stretch for 20 minutes every night. I'm going to work on my feet because I need faster footwork. So I'm going to do my exercises every day. Or I'm going to do that battle with Isabella abs workout every day because I need a stronger core. And you're not even thinking about the end goal. You're just thinking about what it is you want to work on and what it is you want to improve. So I want to improve my balance. So I'm going to do lots of ankle exercises and balances every day. And then the results will come. The results will happen from your preparation. And there's a really great saying that I like, and it's called, success is preparation meeting opportunity. And I love that so much because I genuinely think when I was um, studying at school, that is what I live by and something that massively helped me. I realized quite early on that my preparation process and my practicing and me putting in the time, taking action towards my goals, stretching every night, making sure I did that, practicing for half an hour, working on my pirouettes, taking that preparation would then give me success when I met the opportunity of delivering in my exam. So for example, you know, if I had the opportunity of performing on the Marinsky stage and I took the ex- extra time to prepare the role or you know, prepare the solo so that I felt really fantastic in the turns. I really felt like my artistry was there. I would then have success. I would have success because I prepared for the opportunity which I met. And that's what we should all focus on just a little bit more, the preparation. Because if you prepare and you prepare and you prepare, even if there's no opportunity in front of you yet, the opportunity will present itself at some point and you need to ask yourself, you know, am I prepared? Am I ready for said opportunity? And if you sat around not be, not believing in yourself and thinking, oh, I don't believe in myself, you know, look at me, I can't do the splits yet, I can't believe that I'm going to be a principal dancer. So you haven't taken the action to being able to do the splits, which might lead you to be a principal dancer. And so that's what I want you to focus on. Just take the time to take action and do the preparation for the opportunity that's either ahead of you or that guaranteed will present itself. 
because also guys don't forget we attract um what we we basically attract what we think you know so if i'm doing exercises and i'm preparing myself and i know this is, this is going to lead to something i'm attracting those opportunities to eventually come to me if i'm sat around not believing in myself and not taking action is some amazing opportunity going to present itself and am i going to succeed likely no so we need to do the things that we need to do prepare in the way that we need to do and if you're going to believe in anything just believe that the opportunity will come and you'll be ready and another thing is you know sometimes we think how can i how can i be positive every day because that's something that i think can we put pressure on ourselves like if we're having a bad day or we're not feeling great um that you know we're not going to succeed and just remember like you are a human being and you're going to have days where you don't feel good and where you don't feel happy and where you don't feel you don't feel motivated but it's a higher purpose you know think about your purpose be determined to attract what you deserve which then will lead to a positive frame of mind if every day you say right i'm going to do something really arbitrary like i'm going to do my theraband exercises because these theraband exercises are leading me towards having better feet which is leading me towards doing well in ballet class which is leading me towards getting that audition that i want because my feet will look good on the audition video which will lead me towards you know and it's like the butterfly effect one thing after another but if we sit back and look at our our feet and we're not doing the exercise and we think about the principal dancer we want to become in the ballet company what we want to become they're just too far removed they're not there's no journey there that you've got you can't relate to that end goal at all so take a step back focus on the action you're going to take and slowly but surely you'll see yourself get closer and closer and closer and closer to that end goal you actually want more than anything so that's what i want you to do stop believing in yourself <laughs> and start taking action every day please leave me a comment um on my instagram uh you can dm me tell me what it is you're going to do to take action if this is on youtube leave a comment down below tell me what it is you want to improve what's your goal and what are you going to take action towards every day because then you'll attract those opportunities to, towards you just watch i'm telling you just watch it happen you'll attract those opportunities to come to you you'll be prepared because you've taken action every day and you will succeed so remember that guys all right guys we'll leave it there a short and sweet one today thank you so much for listening and um i really appreciate the love please give this a rate and review as always as it really helps us bump up the podcast and lets other people and other dancers know that this podcast exists and my whole mission in life is to help more of you and help you succeed in what it is um, you want to so come back again soon to learn more and to achieve more bye for now